Hi, you guys. It's Valley on the Perfume Down. I'm so sorry I look so torn up. This shirt. Like, I don't even get how it's... Oh, is that how it's supposed... Oh, okay. I was trying to, like, wear the sleeves up, so it was, like, looking weird. This shirt used to be so cute on me. I literally don't even understand what's happening right now. Why has it forsaken me? Girl, I don't know. Please don't let it distract you. Whatever. Anyways, Valley Vaughn here, and I want to share with you guys my weekly empties. Well, it's probably from a few weeks, but whatever. I want to share with you guys so you can see what I've been using. So the first thing I've been using, I go through so much soap. I'm weird about it, but I love using soap. But this is from Ulta. This is the Luxurious Cleansing Body Wash. I really love their body washes. It has shea butter, it has aloe, green tea, and vitamins, it says, without specifying. This is the Sea Salt and Mint one, and it literally just smelled like the freaking ocean. And I got this on sale when it was only freaking 97 cents, and then it was half off of that. So it was like really affordable. Really affordable. But yeah, it just smells like the freaking ocean. It smells like sea salt. It does smell like it smells like the salty sea i don't know what to say but it has it's like invigorating because it has the mint element but it's just a nice it's a really good one to use in the morning we just want to want to smell fresh and clean all day and you just want something to really wake you up because mint does that for me but yeah really like this one and i blew through it girl and it was a good deal it was a really good deal okay the next one that i absolutely blew through oh god like crap all over it but this is from the body shop this is the british rose um shower gel and yeah yeah it was really good it says with essence of hand-picked roses from britain is that true i don't know but it smells freaking amazing if you've been watching me for a while you know that i love rose scents and this one i used to love to layer actually, i actually have another one still in there but i love to layer or just start my body care routine with this if i know i'm going to be rocking a very nice rose scent that day like if i'm feeling a labo rose 31 or if i'm going to be rocking red roses from joe malone then i'll start with this one because it's also very nice very hydrating but it just smells amazing and the bathroom smells amazing after you get out the next thing that i've just used up now i wasn't super into it but i just wanted to use it up just to get it out of there and this is the vera wang princess hair and body mist okay so it smells just like the vera wang the iconic perfume um except for the body mist smell a little bit warmer like it kind of smells like amber and a little bit of hint of uh vanilla and it smelled very musky like it smelled very grown woman and i actually think that the vera wang smells very grown woman too even though it's supposed to be for like little girls i think it smells very adult like but i would just use this actually not so much for myself but for my linens and for my pillows and just to sp spritz around my place to be quite honest um but yeah, I used that completely up for that reason. And I was trying to use it up because I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. But I was like, you know, it doesn't smell bad. So why not let all my, my linens and pillows and things like that smell like that? I don't think anyone would complain. Okay, the next one that I used up is another body wash. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is one of my favorite of all time. Sheer Cotton and Limited sheer cotton and lemonade now i used to love to pair this one so if i was going to say rock warm cotton from clean that day it's my perfume i would love to start with this because it is so fresh so clean the lemonade uh just adds like a zesty element to it and then it just has like that fresh and clean scent but all of their body washes as well from bath and body works they have the shea and then the vitamin e so they're nice. They're not super hydrating, but also not super drying, um, which is good for me because I always like to start with bar soap with my routine. So this one is really nice to follow up after. So I'm not like leaving the shower insanely dry. The next thing that I used up is also from Bath and Body Works. This is the, oh, I thought it was like super wet. I was like, oh, why is it so wet? But this is from the White Barn that they have. So their home stuff. This is the Cactus Blossom Soap. This is the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap with essential oils. And I really, really liked this. It was really nice. I love the foaming soaps because I feel like they're a lot more gentle. I'm the kind of person, especially even before this pandemic, I was washing my hands so much. I washed my hands so much. So I like to retain 
as much moisture as I can. And this foaming wash is a really good one to hold the moisture in and to make sure that you're really cleaning well, really scrubs away all the dirt and the bacteria. However, it doesn't strip away the essential oils that you need. Well, it has essential oils in there, but it doesn't strip away the oils from your skin that your body needs to, in, in return, protect your skin. Um, but yeah, really like this one. The scent was just kind of like a floral, but it really smelled a little bit like tropical, like an exotic floral. That's kind of how it smelled, but I really liked it. The next one that we have is going to be from Bath & Body Works again. Now this was like from their line that I think came out maybe two years ago, but this is the Mineral & Co. It's a body mist and this is the Aquamarine scent and it's inspired by the deep sea. It says fragrance notes, ocean water, mint leaf, and wet stone. It smelled a lot like a wet stone. Kind of smelled like a cave a little bit. Kind of smelled like a wet cave, like when you're hanging out in the water and then you're just walking with your friends and you're like, oh my God, there is a cave. And you go inside and you're kind of like in hanging out in the cave, drinking, hanging out, whatever. I don't know. What do kids do in caves? Drink. What are they doing? Backflips? I don't know what kids do. And then you go and you get in the water. That's kind of how this smell. Kind of smelled like men's cologne, actually. I didn't love it. Um... What is this crap on everything? It's really nasty. Ugh. I don't, what is it? Girl, I don't know. It's some substance on this thing. But anyways, I just used this one the same way I used the Vera Wang just to freshen up my uh, pillows and my linens and that kind of thing. I wasn't a huge proponent of the scent. I didn't really like it. So whenever I don't really like a scent, I just use it on the bedding. Okay, the next one that we have is going to be from Laura Mercier. I talked about this probably in one of my favorite videos, favorites videos, a little while ago. But this is from the Laura Mercier Bath and Body Collection. If you don't know, she doesn't only do makeup. Laura Mercier also has a very nice, elegant spa collection that has bath and body uh, selections like lotions, um, bath washes, probably oils, probably the whole works. But I especially love the lotions because they are really, really good quality and very hydrating. And that's again going back to the fact that my hands get so dry but these are very hydrating so this is the verbana infusion very nice i usually do not like verbana i think it smells very earthy and kind of like a hippie um it smells like it's trying to be citrus but it's more green than citrus but this one I actually really did like and it had like a nice scent had a nice fragrance but it's not the kind of body lotion to where it's so strong that it like takes away from any perfume that you're gonna wear that day. It didn't do that, it did not compete, even though it was fragrance, which I really, really like. So it's a gel body moisture, even though like the actual consistency is more of like a body cream. Uh, it is very lightweight and fluffy, almost like a souffle texture. So it's a gel body moisture um, for the body, duh. <laughs> this is a body moisturizing cream for your face no but yeah it's it's very nice i would totally repurchase this seems like it's really small right but this literally lasted me oh my god maybe six months or something like that Grant, i didn't use it every day i don't think but i used it quite a bit like quite frequently and it lasted pretty well and actually let me get this little bit up out of here because and i'll tell you this stuff is so good i'm almost it's so good i'm almost tempted to pay full price for it nah just playing but usually you can find it at um, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. Now they're open again. Uh, I would love to find the amber one, the amber vanilla one, because they have like all the same scents and like their perfumes and their fragrances. Oh, that's the other thing. They have fragrances. But yeah, I would love to find the amber vanilla body lotion. I would like stock up on that, especially if I found a really good deal. Now the last thing that I have in here that I actually... some nasty stuff in here this little bucket needs to be washed but yeah this is the eucalyptus and sage and this is another one that i got for like 97 cents and it was half off but yeah it's really really good it's the same thing as far as it has the shea moisture the aloe the green tea and vitamins in it um, but i just love eucalyptus and the shower opens up your lungs again it's really wakes you up in the morning but the sage in there is just a little bit earthy and it smelled so amazing in the bathroom after i used it but really like that one and that completes my weekly empties and let me know what do you guys have been trying what's in your trash i guess i should ask 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.